Hey everybody, Chris with Killer Arcade Games here. Today is going to be a very different kind of video. I don't even know if I'm going to put this video out. If you're seeing it, it clearly came out. But I'm kind of talking to myself here. I'm a little nervous. This is my first time ever trying to solder. I got one of these little, uh, you know, $50 soldering station deals on uh, Amazon. I also ordered the Ding Dong Store FM radio kit. Can't have enough Ding Dong in your life, right? Um, so I needed something I could practice on, essentially, and this is it. The reason I wanted something I could practice on is I don't want to risk ruining a uh, arcade monitor chassis. It's very possible I'm going to screw this thing up royally. I just need something to practice on. I've never soldered a thing in my life. The instructions I looked at earlier, which are not super helpful, I'm going to keep them out and hope I can make something of them. This is a little embarrassing to do this for the first time in front of everybody, but it is what it is. Probably going to have to cut a ton of this. Some of this stuff will be sped up, but at least you get to go on this journey with me. Okay, please wear anti-static gloves. Not going to do any of that. Who does that, right? People who do things properly, I guess. Okay, features, installation steps. So let's just skip all this nonsense. We don't need any of this stuff. Um, soldering, or as the Brits might say, soldering. Three pieces, zero ohm resistor at R7, 8, and 9. I hope I could figure out what a zero ohm resistor is. It does not tell me on any of this. That's what I was looking at before. I opened this to look at it and see if I can even maybe figure this out. I don't see seven. So we'll start with eight and nine. I still don't know which one's a zero ohm resistor. How the heck do you tell? None of this stuff tells me what it is. So <laughs> let's just dump it all out. It'll be fun. At the very least, what I might do is just solder crap and desolder crap, just so I can potentially learn how to do that. That's all I care about. I don't need this thing to be a functioning radio. I just need to know, okay, I can solder and desolder. Man, this tells me just nothing. And boy, do I need some lotion, I'm noticing. St I just genuinely have no idea. So there's probably three of these zero ohms. So let's see if I can find, here's three of these. Oh, there's, oh geez, this'll be fun. No, no label whatsoever. That's very helpful, China. Okay, just gonna move stuff around like I know what I'm doing. This is perfect. This is all going very well. What is a zero ohm resistor? Leave it in the comments after I've already screwed this thing up. There's gotta be a way to tell, right? There's no, there's nothing else on here that's like, that's upside down for one. I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna try to Google it before I screw this thing up. Okay, it's, it's all color coded, thankfully. So this is starting to make a little more sense. I'm assuming these are the zero ohms because of the single black line on them. So we're gonna go with that. I could easily be wrong. Don't yell at me too much in the comments. I've never felt colorblind in all my life. I'm trying to look so closely and then I got something in my eye, but we're gonna go for it. This is the first try. Let's bend this bad boy up. That's not right at all, probably. Yeah, you need to probably bend it here. Stick it through there. Well, let's see what happens. Um, so we need to heat it up first, if I remember correctly. Heat the pad for about a second, put the solder on for about a second, leave it, and then pull off. Heating. Soldering. That was terrible. That's okay, though. It was terrible. First try. Oh, stinks. I'm probably gonna die from these fumes. Try a second try. I know you can't see much. I apologize for the bad camera angles. Let's try this again. All right, that may have actually been decent. So let's see how it looks before I go further. Man, it's in there. I mean, I don't know if you can really even tell, but I, it's in there. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere. It's kind of clean looking. Look at me, already a pro. Let me, let me turn this fan on though. At least get some air moving so I'm not inhaling this crap. Zoomed in a little bit. I'm gonna just solder the next one. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Oop, don't do that. Okay, let's bend that a little bit better first. Okay, it seems like it wasn't getting hot, which is odd. Heating it up, soldering. Probably not enough solder on that, but we'll try it again. Stinks, or smells cancerous, that's for sure. It says it's lead free though. You know, I, I gotta say, it's in there. Let's see, I'm, I'm looking at the screen. I hope you can see it. Let's try to go sideways view. Oh, hold on, it's backwards, oh my God. It's in there, we can say that at least. Look at that. I, I really hope I did okay on that. Let's just keep moving though. We're gonna do another one. I, I genuinely still feel a little unsure about my whole uh, selection of uh, 
the resistor. It seems right, but man, I didn't even think about that. I didn't know there was a whole color-coded system for that. Let's flip this bad boy over, put it in R9. Probably should have done one leg at a time, make it a little easier. Got her in there. Let's flip her over. Oh, my little legs are sticking all over the place. I'm getting there. I'm trying to figure just the soldering portion out at least. So let's try again. I mean, when I say not the right way to do it, I mean, I'm using the weight of the board to hold the, um, what do you call it, in place. All right, let's see if we can do this. Heat it up. This time put a decent amount of solder on the first time. We'll see. I don't know if I did. Yeah, it's it's in there. Let's just keep going. I, you know, I, I tend to have this problem in everything I do, which is be a little too conservative on the amount of things I use. It's possible I'm not uh, putting enough solder, but we'll find out, I guess, if it doesn't work, or I could have easily just put it in wrong. Okay. I feel like that went really well this time, like I can get the hang of it already. You know, I hate to toot my own horn, but this is looking pretty solid. Pretty sol solid sol solderid whatever you want to say. This is probably an easy way to learn because it's everything's pretty spread out. Now there is stuff right next to this one, I just realized. So hopefully I don't bridge a connection. Look at me, I know some words, right? I know some things. Um, hopefully I don't bridge the connections or anything, but I'm gonna keep going. Okay, I do not have the proper tool for this, but I have some 10 snips and I'm gonna just do that. There we go. It is so hard to see, I hope you can tell. I didn't snip them off that cleanly, but there you go, I think I did okay. All right, I'm getting the hang of things, I think. This is really not that difficult. I think it's more intimidating than anything. Now I haven't, of course, graduated to a real PCB yet, or a, uh, you know, monitor chassis, but, you know, we'll get there. I'm excited to do one of these caps too, by the way, because that's what, you know, I'm usually gonna be doing if I'm doing monitor stuff. I can't go any further because I realize I've made a mistake already. Um, Good thing I did buy one of these um, ooh, multimeter. Uh, Jojo gave me one. Unfortunately, when I went to use it, I could not get the thing to work anymore, so I had to buy one. But anyway, uh, so I believe I put the wrong resistor in at... Um, yeah, let's see if I can try to make it to where you can see this. Let's back it out a little. Oh, a little more. Okay. So I believe I put the wrong resistor in uh, R5 or R6. I don't know which one right now, but we check it here. There we go. It's 23, which is supposed to be a 22 ohm, but might just be how I'm checking it. Let's try again. Still at 25, 24, 22. Okay, it's lowering. So I, I, after realizing I made the mistake, I thought I'd better show you this. So now I get to try and desolder. So this should be something I've, this is something I've never done. I've seen it done. I've got my little desoldering deal here. You push this down when the solder gets warm. I only know this from watching JoJo. You push the button and it supposedly sucks it up. Let me make sure I'm gonna be taking off the right one again. And it's this one right here. Let me zoom you back in. Let's see if I can pull this off, literally. Okay, get the solder out of the way. Get this ready. I'm gonna heat it up. Ooh, this thing's hot, as it should be, I guess, right? Let's see, heat it up. Oh wait, am I ready? Yeah, okay. Oh, this is gonna be fun, first time. Here we go, heat it up. I don't know if I got anything. <laughs> I don't know if I heated it up enough. <laughs> Let's try one more time. There we go. Okay, I think I got it. Pretty sure I got it. I don't hear anything in there, but I'm pretty sure it should be free-ish. Really hope I did the right one. I did, okay. Yeah, it looks free, so let's try again with uh, this other one. This is an important part for, you know, doing monitor work because I need to desolder before I can resolder. Yeah, that's how that works, guys. Take notes. Okay, that was kind of a sloppy pickup on that, but I think I got it. Let's put this in here. Let's see if this thing comes out. Okay, I may need to do a little more desoldering. I don't know. Maybe I didn't get all of it. Let's try one more time. There 
Yeah, I can feel it free up there. Okay, I think we got it that time. Yep, came out. Cool, so I can now desolder, or at least I've, I have desoldered. I wish they would have taught me this crap in school instead I wasted a bunch of time on nonsense I never get to use. Okay, I hit kind of a wall here because I just can't read some of the things on these. Um, I, I don't know what the heck this is. You, ugh, it's backwards. You probably can't even see the thing. So I, I think I'm gonna have to order a magnifying glass, but really I don't care if this thing turns into a radio or not. I think I'm gonna move ahead. I think I'm gonna find the first capacitor I have to put on and just put that on just to get the experience of how it's done. And maybe even put on one of these little ICs, I guess that's what it's called, I don't know. Put that on there just so I can get a, get used to soldering so close together with, oh geez, once again. Get used to soldering so close together with these little uh, chip things. I don't know when I'll ever need to do that necessarily, but that said, Target Terror had a bad IC chip on it that we had to replace. And it was bigger, but it still was pretty close together. Anyway. Um, let me find the first capacitor and I'll put that on. Okay, I need to install this little guy, 10 UF or whatever, in C6 and C9. Ow, that is sharp. Um, let's see, 10, C6, there it is, and C9. Um, okay, so the, I'm guessing the negative is the stripey side. Let's, uh, put that in there and hope I'm right. I need to learn that for sure, but it looks right to me. Let's flip this over, spread these out so it holds itself in. And let's go to town with soldering. Okay, that was a little ugly, but let's try the next one. Let's see if I can make it look prettier. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, it goes right next to it. I really do not have the best lighting for this and trying to record it isn't helping me on that. All right, I think I got it. It's definitely in there. It's just not very pretty, but it's in there. Oh boy, and they're crooked on top from laying it on its back. But there we go. All right, they're in. Not done beautifully at all. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see it. I was very impressed with my early soldering skills, but maybe I'm just not doing so good anymore. All right, it's about maybe almost a month after I filmed the first part of this video where I tried to learn to solder. I ended up getting COVID. Uh, got really busy working on my Mortal Kombat 4 machine. Unfortunately, these skills of soldering did not really come in handy uh, to fix the Mortal Kombat 4. I think that was still above my pay grade, but this is where I got. Um, I, it's not complete. It's not able to be used. Obviously, there's still things missing, but this is it. And if we look at the back, I think I, I did okay. You know, so these seem to do pretty well. I'm a little worried about possibly those two touching, uh, but I was able to get some practice soldering really close together here and I think I did okay there a bunch of just small dots of solder seemed to do a good job or seems like it would work if, if I had to use it like that again the cuts on the uh, the actual uh, I don't know what the heck these are called but yeah this thing's real pokey because I didn't have the proper tool on me at the time to trim it off and anyway that's not important though what's important is I've kind of somewhat learned to solder and I feel uh, a little more confident on doing it myself if I had to, like in a pinch. Say if I had to do a cap kit or something, I think I could probably solder and de or desolder what's there and probably put the stuff on. Uh, but this was good practice. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it now. I, I don't feel nearly as intimidated by the whole thing. Well, there you have it. I am now a master at soldering. Not really. I'm, I'm more like a novice, maybe an amateur at best or an apprentice, I don't know. Whatever the crappiest thing is, that's probably what I am at the moment. But it's fine, everyone has to start somewhere and I finally started, which is really exciting to me. I was always afraid, or not really afraid, just intimidated by the whole thing. And now, 
I feel pretty good about it. I'll break out the soldering iron and fix a few things. The monitor, whenever I do my first monitor chassis, you guys will definitely hear about it because I will feel like I'm on top of the world. I'm the world's best repairman of arcades, uh, at least for a short time until something else knocks me down a peg. But thank you guys so much for watching this. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was a different video than I normally do. And if you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment letting me know down below. Don't worry, I'm not going to be doing too many more videos exactly like this. There's a chance I may want to learn something and it might be interesting to you. So maybe I'll do something like that in the future. But for now, there's no plans to be like, hey, I want to learn how to sew. There's not going to be anything like that. So hopefully you enjoyed this kind of one-off video. And uh, if you are new to the channel by some chance and you like arcade cabinets, please consider subscribing for more arcade content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.